So the scripture for today is from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 18, verse 3, and it reads, Unless you convert and become like little children, you will not enter the kingdom of heaven. And that's Christ speaking, of course. And the meditation is the following. Jesus Christ, in his earthly life, left mankind an example of a completely obedient son. We know that he was obedient to his earthly parents, as it says in the Gospel of Luke, chapter 2, verse 51. And we know of his complete submission to the will of his heavenly Father, as he said in the Gospel of John, chapter 6, verse 38. I have come down from heaven not to do my will, but to do the will of my Father who sent me. The will of the Father, these are the words which Jesus constantly repeated. I do not seek my will, but the will of the Father who sent me, as he says in the Gospel of John, chapter 5, verse 30, and I and the Father are one, as he said in the Gospel of John, chapter 10, verse 30, and let not my will but yours be done as it says in the Gospel of Luke, chapter 22, verse 42. And finally, my Father is greater than I, as it says in the Gospel of John, chapter 14, verse 28. And finally, the last victorious exclamation, it is consummated, as it says in the Gospel of John, chapter 19, verse 30. That is, God's will has been fulfilled to the end completely, perfectly. Why? Because Christ's life was perfect in its obedience. He reflected in himself in complete agreement the will of God. But we cannot become heirs if we do not become little children. Only then will the life of the true children of God begin, relying completely on him, and entrusting to him with complete hope all of our concerns about this life and the future one. Our sorrows and our difficulties all belong to him, and we must act like a child with carefree obedience and without objection. Let us kneel humbly and entrust on a daily basis, step by step, all our concerns, large and small, into the hands of the Lord. God's will can be accomplished only if there is such a childlike submission which does not leave room for doubt. Place all your cares on him, as St. Peter says in his first epistle, chapter 5, verse 7, and do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation by prayer and petition with thanksgiving present your requests to God and the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus, as St. Paul says in his epistle to the Philippians, chapter 4, verses 6 and 7.